Welcome to the fire station in Heimstede, in the Kennemerland safety region. The central breathing apparatus workshop for this region is also located here. The region consists of 19 fire stations, of which five are professional. There are around 600 firefighters active in this region. How did this centralization of breathing air maintenance evolve into its current state over time? It came about partly in response to a desire for increased efficiency and quality, but quantitative factors played a role as well. By carrying out a risk inventory and producing an evaluation report, we discovered that none of the workshops met current standards and legislation. After the board had given permission, we of course had to develop the plans. We looked at the Swedish model, at the information available within the Dutch Fire Brigade at the time, and discovered that certain things no longer take place in the workshop, but at the scene of the incident. This means that a firefighter will actually disassemble their dirty breathing apparatus at the incident, and separate the cylinder, the cylinder cover and the mask. This means that this work doesn't have to be done in the workshop. This already results in a lot of efficiency gains for the employees in the breathing apparatus workshop. Occupational hygiene in Kennemerland is designed in such a way that firefighters arrive and leave again with a clean vehicle, so their fire suits too are changed and their breathing air apparatus is returned clean. After a fire, dirty items are transported to the workshop and put in the dirty room in the breathing apparatus workshop. We have ensured that there is under pressure in the room for dirty items, and the same goes for the washing room. Both rooms are under pressure so that any fumes and odors from dirty equipment don't hang around in the rest of the building. The other rooms are equipped with overpressure. In the dirty rooms, we sort everything out of the boxes. The covers are separated, the masks too, and the shields go separately. Drago Air also examines whether the appliance must be inspected, must have a sixth monthly inspection, the cylinders need to be refilled or must go to the inspection. All this is sorted out there. Then the stuff that is dirty goes to the washing room. There we can do the pre-wash of the breathing apparatus. And then the equipment goes to the two special machines that we developed in consultation with the supplier. Our question was whether they could supply machines with air in them, so we wouldn't have to mount a cylinder every time to wash the device. After the washing process in the machines, we can fill the content of two machines on a drying rack, which fits in a drying cabinet. The drying time is approximately three hours, depending on the humidity. Regarding the masks, with a pre-wash, three washing machines and five drying cabinets, we can handle a capacity of up to 240 masks per day. As you can see, everything comes in boxes, and those boxes are of course also dirty, because the dirty stuff was in them. And we also wash these boxes with a special catering machine. From the drying cabinets, we can roll the equipment on the trolleys to the test room. This ensures that people do as few movements or carrying as possible, so they won't suffer from any RSI from turning movements or other actions. In this corridor, the roll cages, which we emptied in the dirty room, are waiting for the first filling of the cylinders. In the filling area, we can fill up to 42 cylinders at a time. From 0 to 300 bar takes about 20 minutes. Then we leave them for about 20 minutes to half an hour, because the heat builds up during filling. The compressors go to 350 bar, and therefore the air slowly presses into the bottles during the cooling process. Here we are entering the first labeling system. This means that the cylinder's labels are changed color every quarter, so that we can quickly identify which cylinders haven't been used during the half-yearly inspection, so that they are taken out of the system for refilling. 
After the cylinders have been filled, they can immediately be returned to the roll cages, completing that process. The trolleys that come out of the drying cabinet enter the test room where we have two rooms. One that we call the quiet room, where the diving equipment and masks are tested. And we have another room where the breathing apparatus is tested, where after every use they are checked on the measuring benches using the quastors, which means this is also recorded on the index card. In this room, of course of the warning whistle of 90 decibels or more, hearing protection is mandatory, and hence this separate room. After the masks have been tested, after the BA has been tested, the roll cage enters the test room. Then the appliances are again provided with a crate. A seal is put on them in the color of the month. The masks are added and the roll cage is sealed and goes to the storage area. The whole thing is actually complete then. As soon as the roll cage leaves the door, a new cycle starts. I hope this video gave you an idea of the new central breathing apparatus workshop in Heemstede. It is now the end of 2018, and after two and a half years, I can tell you that we have no health complaints yet among our people. And that is the main reason this breathing apparatus workshop was built. Thank you.